In this video, I would like to discuss about the non-price determinants of supply, meaning the factors that cause shifts in the supply curves. So I listed here two of these factors. In the next video, I'm going to describe the other three factors left. So with that being said, let's start. Cost of production. How can cost of production determine a shift of the supply curve? Suppose that costs of production increase. When costs of production increase, that means for a given level of quantity of products on the market, the price has to be higher to offset the increase in the costs of production. So therefore, for this given level of quantity I'm highlighting right now, we would have to have a higher price on the new supply curve. So therefore, let's say this would be the new higher price. That means that the new supply curve has to shift up or has to shift to the left, as we say. The supply curve shifts to the left when the costs of production become higher. On the opposite way, what if costs of production become lower? What if it becomes cheaper to produce the products? Well, as a result of that, for a given level of quantity, we would have to have a smaller price. So therefore, for this given level of quantity I'm showing right now, we would have to have a lower price than the original one. So let's say the original price was here P1, this one was P2, and now at P3, we have to have a new supply curve that crosses that point. So therefore, supply after a decrease in the cost of production would be this line over here, a parallel shift to the right. Hope this makes sense. So that's going to be our S3. Now let's draw our attention to the second factor, which would be price of similar products. Suppose that a company can produce apples and bananas with similar resources, so similar labor, similar capital. It can choose between the two without reinvesting a lot of resources into the production process. Suppose now that the price of the apples increase. Let's say that, let me give an example here. Let's say that this was the initial price on the apples market, P1, with quantity Q1. So that's Q1, and here we have P1. And all of a sudden, people demand more apples because they perceive them to be tastier or healthier or for whatever other reason. Let's say that that increase in demand causes the price of the apples to increase on the market. So with a higher price, we can see that there is a movement along the supply curve where the firms get to produce Q2. There is an increase in quantity supply, supplied of apples. As a result of that, supplying bananas becomes less attractive since most of the resources are going now into harvesting more apples. So as a result of that, the supply curve of bananas would shift to the left, meaning it would decrease. So that would cause a leftward shift of the supply curve of bananas. Hope this all makes sense. I appreciate you all watching. If you like the video, please make sure to subscribe and we are done.